Main message of the city is trying to get out today. Stay inside as much as you can. All right, Fox 5's Antoine Lewis joins us live from Brooklyn Heights. And Antoine, if you do have to go outside, health experts are saying you should do what you can to protect yourself from the dangerous smoke, including like you are wearing a mask. Absolutely, Stephen. That is absolutely the message that's coming on. And just to piggyback off of that, literally a few minutes ago, we saw a little kid who has asthma, which we didn't know, because Scott Pierce and I offered him a mask that we had to spare just to help prove that point. He thanked us. But that is the message coming from city officials, health officials. This is the reason why. Scott's going to give you a look at the Manhattan skyline from where we are here in Brooklyn Heights. And just to let you know, the sun came out a little while ago. This is the most clear it has been for us here. Here. This is our vantage point. It's been nothing but clouds, nothing. We couldn't even see the buildings, the FDR, the Brooklyn Bridge, none of that. It was like that all today. Officials say it's the worst the air quality has been in the city in more than 50 years. Their advice to New Yorkers on Wednesday. We recommend vulnerable New Yorkers stay inside. And all New Yorkers should limit outdoor activity to the greatest extent possible. An air quality warning remained in effect throughout the day, prompted by dangerously high levels of smoke coming from wildfires in Canada that continue to burn. The fine particulate matter in the air can get into people's lungs, cause inflammation, and worsen conditions like asthma, chronic lung disease, or underlying heart conditions. In New York, the scale used to measure air quality indices begins at 100. 218 was the number Tuesday night. By Wednesday morning, 174 was the number with the highest levels coming from air in the Bronx. What's not normal is to go above 150. Um, so when that happened, that is something that, I mean, has rarely occurred. I think you have to go pretty far back to find a time when we were ever above 200. It may never have actually happened in New York City. In city, We're sort of looking at historical data to see what the precedent is for this. Conditions worsened throughout the day, which officials say they knew to expect. And while acknowledging that all New Yorkers could not stay inside as recommended, Team Adams with potentially life-saving advice for those needing to go out. If you must go outdoors, wear high-quality masks such as a K-95. And that also means tonight as well, because as we know, officials are also saying that it is only going to get worse as the evening progresses. Also, Nick Gregory used the term stubborn, Stephen Natasha, to describe it. The event that's coming here, absolutely the right word to use. We're in Brooklyn. Back inside to you. Well, all right. Thanks, Antoine. Despite